This is Roger. He's one of my old college buddies. We're taking our girlfriends out to pick apples. It's gonna be fun. Just like old times. It makes me think of how long it's been since our BU days. I still have this photo we took our freshman year. We were always wearing baseball hats back then. All of us. We don't wear them so much anymore. I guess we're just getting old. I still remember when we shared a dorm. It was an old brownstone on Bay State Road. That apartment was always freezing. We used to think it was haunted by some ghost named Bobby. Looking back, it was the funnest time that I had in college. And today's just as fun. We're gonna get some red delicious apples. The fun part about this is that it takes time to look for the good ones. And when you do find one, it feels good. It reminds me of when I would pick figs with my mom. The best part is the climbing. When I was in grade school, I used to have this fantasy of falling off a tree and breaking my arm. I wanted to walk into school the next day with the cast, just to have everybody sign it. It makes me laugh looking back. Roger's girlfriend takes a photo of this elephant everywhere that she goes. My girlfriend thinks it's sweet. Maybe I should get her one. We can go around Boston doing photo shoots. The scenery here looks really nice. It looks like one of those landscape paintings. It's funny that we came apple picking. I don't even need apples. But she's been talking about coming here for over a month. So we made a day out of it. We're going to the outskirts. They just planted these, so they're still small. It's interesting that trees can get so big. I used to have this really big one in my backyard. It fell over one day. It was so big that the branches covered the entire yard. I used to play a lot in my backyard when I was a kid. But I was playing inside that day. I got really lucky. It kind of freaked me out. I still want my own big tree when I get older. I'll just have to take care of it. We've been walking around the whole orchard looking for Fuji apples. It kind of reminds me of Shrek, when Donkey's looking for a blue flower with red thorns. We're looking for the Fuji apples. Where are they at? <laughs> have to go the other way, because this is like the end. Okay, so this way? Uh, only in the store. Those are picked out. Okay, how about Granny Smith? 3,000 miles west. You can't grow them here because they'd freeze on the trees before they could. I see. Okay, we're walking around the whole place trying to find food. Yeah. See the woods over there? Uh-huh. So you have to get over to the woods and then we take the trail down the other side of the hill. How far is the walk? Um, time-wise. About, about time-wise, about 10 minutes to get over there. 10 minutes? Yeah, no. no, that's not. Um, you're you're going to zigzag a little bit, go up the hill a little bit, and then take a left towards this pine tree. Okay. But just keep the, the, uh, these peach trees on your right, and the right of the trail, and then go through the woods. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. We have to take a trip over the hill. It's a little far, but it's a nice walk. Yeah, I remember walking through here. I'm glad we came out here with them. I'm realizing that I've known Roger for the last eight years. He's a good friend. He's actually the reason I ended up transferring out of BU. I used to always talk about it, and he's the one who convinced me to do it. He used to let me borrow his headphones to study. I remember that. I always had to listen to music to focus. I still do. Nowadays, I have this app called Aura. It has these ambient songs that help me when I'm working. Those songs take me back to days like this. Really simple days, when we're just out laughing. So I like Aura. It's really a wellness app. It was made to help people sleep and meditate. And it has therapy and stories too. It's used by over 7 million people. And it won the Best of Apple Award. And they gave me a sign-up link. The first 500 people get a free trial. And 25% off. 
We just made it across the hill. We're gonna get some honey crisps and just have some fun. Did you hear there's no Fuji apples here? All picked out. We got here too late. We got lucky because the sky is cloudy. It's my favorite type of weather. I don't like sunny days. Kind of like Claire from the town. I like that movie. These are honey crisp apples. Take a bite. Mmm. Oh, caught that. Two apples. This one has all these cracks. This was the best part of my day. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're showing <laughs> <laughs> We spent the whole day looking for the reddest apples. We finally found them. The memory was worth the hike. Oh, you got, are you gonna take it? Just transfer them. <laughs> What's this for the hay, right? Oh, what are those apples that are like bright red? Do you see it? See? Oh, they're down there. Oh, those? We're walking back across the hill again. Roger saw some green apples, and that's where we're gonna finish. The uh, yellow one's on the right. The right. We found them. Come on, bro. In your juice. Rate it. I like that they're small. You wanted to see if he could juggle. Let me get one. Let me get one. Let me go. Ready? Ah! <laughs> ah! I missed that one. No. It's one. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. He has another trick too. He showed me how to do it. It's not high enough. That was better. Oh, that was pretty good. That was the best one. Five beautiful apples. The bag's full now. We're done for the day. We're gonna finish at the farm store. I want some apple cider. Uh, um. On our way to the farm store, trying to get us some apple cider donuts. Oops. There's a long line for the donuts. How many donuts y'all get? Six, not a dozen. 18. Get a dozen. A dozen and a half. Okay, they're so warm that it broke apart. Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Do I eat it? No. We're walking to the car now. It's pretty late and we're hungry. The donuts didn't fill us up. So we're gonna take a drive out to Cambridge. We left at the perfect time. There's so many colors. It really makes you appreciate living here. We just got to Porter Square. We're going to this restaurant called Cafe Mommy. Coming to this area makes me nostalgic. When we were at BU, we would always go to this ramen shop in Porter Square. 
It's right next door. I wouldn't like going there because he'd give you a free bowl of ramen if you shared your dream. I still remember his. He said he wanted to be an engineer. I just wanted to transfer out. That was six years ago. He's an engineer now. And after I transferred, I came back to see him graduate. I miss going to that ramen shop. I want to go back again, just like the old days. After all, it'd be nice to have a new dream. <laughs>